Wake up, lazy bones. Come on, up you get. Finally. I was worried we'd lost you for a minute there. You've been out cold ever since we jumped. I had to drag you all the way here on my own. But what a jump it was. I closed my eyes, put my faith in the luminary, and somehow didn't get smashed into a thousand pieces. In fact, I woke up on the forest floor at the bottom of the cliff without a scratch on me. Amazing what a little faith can do. Anyway, I guess you and me must be at the top of the King of Heliodor's most wanted list by now. Which means we can't hang around here too long. Let's go say thanks to the nun who looked after us and be on our way. your friend here is fully recovered? Oh, don't worry about him. He's just fine. Hey, thanks for looking out for us. We owe you one. Not at all, dear. I'm just happy to see you both well again. But if you are leaving, you must be careful on the road. It seems some dangerous criminals have escaped from the capital and are at large somewhere in the area. Oh, I shudder to think what wicked deeds they might be capable of. Criminals, you say? Dear me, that doesn't sound good. And you heard this when you were in Heliodor. I did indeed, my child. There were Guards everywhere. They are searching high and low for the villains. And I heard that the mighty knight Sir Hendrik himself has headed to the mountains in the south with his troops. They say he means to block the road to Cobblestone, the village the fugitives came from. <laughs> oh, but you must forgive me, poor lambs. I did not mean to alarm you. They will soon be caught, I am sure. Justice will be done. And until then, you are free to remain with us for as long as you please. Thanks. We appreciate that. Um, we're going to get a little fresh air. We have a few things to discuss. Right? Cobblestone, eh? Never heard of the place. I never even knew anyone actually lived in those mountains down south. Is that really where you're from? I'm guessing you want to go see what's happening down there. But you need to be smart. You won't get past Hendrik unnoticed. If you're going to make it there without getting caught, you'll need to avoid the main road. And if you want to do that, you'll need my help. I know every back road there is to know in these parts. But I've got things to take care of in Heliodor first. I left a little something in one of my old haunts downtown, and I need to get it back. So, are you coming along for the ride? I did help you break out of that dungeon, remember? That's the spirit. But we can't have you bringing us any unwanted attention. Ah, I've got just the thing. Here. Put this on and keep your face hidden. Otherwise, you're gonna get nabbed as soon as you set foot in Heliodor.
<laughs> That's more like it. If you're gonna be a wanted man, you might as well look the part. Right. Let's head north and hit town. Glad you're coming along. The seer told me to stick with the luminary when I found him, and that's just what I'm going to do.
Welcome to downtown Heliodor, home to rogues, ruffians, and all my other favorite kinds of people. About a year ago, me and Dirk, my partner in crime, managed to uh, acquire one of the royal family's most precious possessions, the Red Orb. They got wise and pulled me in eventually, but not before we'd stashed it somewhere safe so we could pick it up later. Right down there is the biggest, stinkingest garbage pile in all of Heliodor. Me and Dirk buried the orb slap bang in the middle of it. After all, no one would ever think of looking for it there. Where criminal genius is, I tell you. Time to go liberate that loot to the garbage pile. This is the spot. Keep a lookout, okay? I'm going to grab the loot. Now. It was around here somewhere. It's definitely here. I'm a thousand percent sure. Uh, it's not here. You gotta be kidding me. Me and Dirk were the only ones who knew where it was. Rat! He must have done the dirty on me and taken it for himself! Damn it! I should have known! A thieving little... Wait till I get my hands on him! I'm gonna find him. And you're gonna help me. Okay. The inn we used to crash at is just over there. Come on, it's the only one with an upstairs. You can't miss it. hasn't changed a bit. Back in our thieving days, Dirk and me used to lay low here whenever things got hairy. Ruby? Ruby, you there? It's me, Eric. There's something I need to ask you. Ruby runs the place. Looks like she's not around, but if anyone knows where Dirk is, it's her which means we'll have to go find her. So here's the plan. There's a tower they use to look out for fires. You're going to climb up there and keep an eye out for Ruby. 
I'll check a couple of other spots. Don't worry, you can't miss her. She's the only redhead in town. find Ruby anywhere. How about you? Any luck? You saw her heading back to the inn? Great! Let's head over there and find out what she knows. isn't my favorite landlady. Welcome to our humble... <gasps> Strike a light! If it ain't me favorite little tea leaf! Last I heard, they locked you up and thrown away the key! Hang about. You've gone and escaped, ain't ya? You and your friend here are the fugitives everyone's talking about! Well, I know not to stick me big nose in where it ain't wanted. You always did like to sail close to the wind. Don't worry, I won't be here long. I just need to know where Dirk is. Have you seen him? Dirk, eh? Now there's a name I ain't heard in a while. Didn't he open some fancy shop up by the castle? Yeah. That was it. Raking in the cash he is, or so they say. That can't be right. The rent up there is crazy. Where would he find the money? Wait a second. He sold it, didn't he? The rat sold the damned orb! Look, in this part of town you don't go asking too many questions, you know that. If you want more, you'll have to get it from the horse's mouth. 
You're right. Thanks, Ruby. I appreciate it. We'll get out of your hair. That no good traitor? I'll bet he sold me out and sold the orb. And all so he could move up in the world. Well, I'll get what I'm owed. You'll see. to get past that sentry if we're gonna head uptown and find him. Wait, isn't he? Yeah. I remember hearing that one of the guards is terrified of dogs. I think it was him. Maybe we can borrow one or somebody. This gate leads to the nice part of town. My job is to protect respectable people from being bothered by rabble and riffraff. In other words, you. Hmm. Ah! No, 
No, not a d d d dog. Anything but that. <laughs> <laughs> Worked like a charm. Now to head up to where all the rich folks live and find out what the heck Dirk thinks he's up to.
nice place you got here. Welcome, welcome. Feel free to browse. You'll find we only stock the very finest wares. That's good, because I'm looking for something very special indeed. Happen to have any orbs in stock? Eric! Long time no see, old pal. Eric! My, my brother! My compadre! My, my partner in crime! It's, oh, it's really you! Larger than life and oh, fine infant! I'm so oh, happy to see you! You have no shame, huh? Get your backstabbing hands off of me! You always were full of it, Dirk. But this really takes the cake. Admit it. You sold me out and sold the orb so you could buy this place, didn't you? I never! I promise you, I never sold you out! I was worried sick about you. I only opened this place to try and help you. Oh, yeah. And how does that work, exactly? How does you opening this place and lining your pockets while I rot in jail help me? Look, I was never much of a thief. You know that. But it turns out I know how to sell stuff. I got a gift, even if I do say so myself. When you got nabbed, I spent months racking my brains for ways of busting you out. I couldn't stand the thought of you being in there. In the end, I realised I'd have to give up the orb. I took it to the king, told him I found it somewhere, and pocketed the reward. Then I used the cash to open up the shop here and poured all my profits into bribing the guards up at the castle so they'd let you escape. Hmm, now that you mention it, I did think it was weird they never tossed my cell the whole time I was digging that hole. Exactly! I was paying them to turn a blind eye, weren't I? Okay, okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I doubted you, partner. That's the spirit! Eric, old pal, it's so good to have you back. But I need that orb. And now we don't even know where it is. <laughs> oh, yes we do. Right this way, gentlemen. So, where is it? After I handed over the orb, I made sure to keep my ears to the ground about where it ended up. I knew it was important to you, see? Well, a little bird tells me that Endrick and his men took it to the King's Barrow, and it's been under lock and key there ever since. The King's Barrow, huh? Mm-hmm. That's southeast of town. Same direction as Cobblestone. Which means we can kill two birds with one stone. You coming, Dirk? A little adventure for old time's sake? Sorry, no can do. I've got a shop to run and I'm a married man these days. Married? Wow, you really have changed. Well, you always said you wanted to settle down and maybe go into business someday. I'm happy for you. We'd better get going. Take care, Dirk, and thanks for everything. 
you too, old pal. Be lucky, eh? And don't you two go doing anything I wouldn't do. The south gate is crawling with guards. We won't be walking out that way. And Hendrix's men are too uptight to take bribes. Guess we'll have to go the long way round. If we skirt round the hills to the south, we should be able to approach the King Sparrow from the other side. We can drop into Cobblestone on the way. Okay, let's head back downtown. Watch yourselves out there, eh? They don't call that forest round there the Mangle Grove for nothing. There's plenty going there and never come out. <laughs> It'll take more than a few kids' stories to scare us off. Besides, it's the only way to get there. <laughs> 